hi my youtube family i'm coming to you guys with a new video i need you guys to right now click follow and subscribe click follow and subscribe come on come on you guys can you guys can you guys know you love me come on follow us follow us follow us so please follow us and give us thumbs up follow us give us thumbs up all right my name is lucy julacy and this is lacy cosmetics so i'm happy that you guys are here with us today we are reviewing the morphe products i'm doing the james charles with this look the foundation the concealer and we did the setting mist the setting mist okay so these four products we all did it with this and this is my review so stay tuned Okay, so now we're back. So let's talk. Okay, full disclosure, I did have to actually leave before I filmed this to go pick up my daughter because the alarm went off and I totally did not have track of time. So I've actually wore this outside in the sun. So, okay, number one thing, I totally, 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 totally pick wrong colors. So these colors are not for me. The foundation is way too, like, orangey color. And the concealer, I picked it way too beige. It has zero yellow undertone that I kind of like. So it was kind of like beigey kind of color. So full disclosure, I did have to put a little bit of my concealer because I didn't feel like it gave me enough coverage right here. It left me like a little bit of a patch um, under here. So I did add a little bit of my favorite, all-time favorite concealer photo finish. So I did put a little bit. It didn't change the color or whatnot because that also is like a beige. It's not like a yellow. It just gives me more coverage. Just because I felt like right in here and that I like I still had a patch so you can kind of see and I don't kind of like that in my concealers. I like it to give me obviously that blurred effect that I don't feel like that conceal this concealer gave it to me. So I'm not a big fan of that. The foundation on the other hand it's wearing very nicely. It doesn't have like a tacky feel to it. So obviously although it's not my color I could have made it work. I do really kind of like it. I do feel like it gives you like a beautiful effect. I obviously do have the Tantra Blurring Primer on the bottom of it. So that might have something to do with it. But I don't really see a lot of texture. But like I said, I've been in a rush, 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 rush. Because I am leaving out of town today. And I have to get my booty to the airport. I go pick up my child. I had to do all this stuff that I did. Um, and I need to get going. So I will check back into you guys. In with you guys. 
at the end of this during my trip all the travel see how the makeup stayed see how it weared i did do the james charles palette on my eyelids three different colors and where is the palette it's ran away here it goes here goes the palette i did use these colors this one on the bottom this one next then I went in with this one on the outer corner and this one in the inner corner. So I used four shadows for this look. And under my waterline, I just used like the burgundy color. And that's pretty much it for my eyes. I didn't do blush today. Um, I did use highlighter. Um, I did everything. I set with powder. I um, put translucent powder all over it. I baked. All that other good stuff. I did use these two colors. So again, the foundation that I did use was F3 100 matte. I do think, like I said, it's a little kind of orangey versus yellowish. Um, so it's a little bit dark for me, but it's okay. And then I used the C315 Soft Matte. And like I said, it had no yellow in it whatsoever. It's more like a beigey undertone. Let me swatch. See, it has more like a beigey undertone. No yellow whatsoever. So it didn't give me too much of a brightening. So the concealer, I'm not too much of a fan of. I'll probably use it again just to give it one more try. I'm not one to return things. So might as well try to get my money out of it. Like I said, the products were not bad. I think I bought all of this with the setting spray for like $74. So that's a really good price for pretty much everything on your face. And then this was the foundation. That I picked on their color scheme, like the lightest and then the darkest from the fairest. But I guess it was not. See, it's like an orangey, almost like a color corrector color. Versus the foundation. I'm like very yellow undertone. Very pale. Pasty I am. Versus my face. You see? It's very orangey. But like I said, I'm not walking around like this. So nobody really noticed. I'm going to give it a go. Like I said, you guys. I love you guys. I adore you guys like always. I hope you guys like this review. Like I said, the eyeshadow palettes, I love the foundation. I really like the formula so far. I will check in one more time and let you guys know. Concealer, like I said, I wasn't too much of a fan. I had to use my trusty Dusty concealer just to clean it up some or whatever. I put on my Sasha Buttercup, everything like that. So let's see. Let's see how it works. Let's see. I'll check back in with you guys probably after my flight so around nine o'clock so you guys have like the whole amount of time for i could tell you guys if it broke up on me if it moved like i said i never retouch i never do none of that so whatever goes goes whatever it ends up it ends up so i hope you guys love it i hope you guys like this look please follow us subscribe um share our videos okay let's do a giveaway with this let's do a giveaway 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 that's fine so let's give away so we have here the everything virtual. I think this is a loose powder. So the loose powder. Let's do a mascara. And then let's do this eyeshadow palette, a neutral palette from Sassy. So these three things with this 200 shares, we're gonna do a giveaway. Um, from those, this is from Dose of Colors. So we're going to be doing the giveaway Um, for those three things. We'll make it to 200 shares. I will be picking the winner. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Follow us. Subscribe. Be with us. And for those of you guys who are watching us. So coming to give a quick review after my five hour flight and my whole look. My lashes didn't make it. And apparently it smudged a little bit. But the makeup is pretty much intact. You do see a little bit of creasing. So overall, it's okay. It's not the best foundation I've ever tried, but it's not the worst. <laughs> so take that for whatever it's worth. On this new channel, I love you guys. I adore you guys. Take care, be blessed.